Welcome back everyone. Today we're in the Giants Editor and I'm Jewel and we're going to do a little bit of a tutorial on how to add a uh, debris crusher to your map, a mod map. And what I'm going to do is just to show you it from scratch so that you, that you know that it's all from scratch. We're going to you open up the editor on its own. Don't, don't go through a map and then X this out. And we're going to go ahead and create a new mod from the game. Click on that. And we're going to make the, a new map, but you can just start with the map that you have that you want to put it on. I'm going to do this so you know that it's all from scratch. Just going to change this name to, uh, let's see, what should we name it? We'll name it Rich map just something different and hit OK it's going to put it in the uh, FS22 mod folder once this is done we'll get started hope everybody's having a wonderful day I appreciate all the new subscribers and everyone who's been staying tuned to the channel the channel's doing wonderful and I do thank you uh, hopefully I can get this posted I'm using a hot spot right now uh, so hopefully it lets me post this I'm trying to keep it short so let's get to it all right so what you're gonna do when you come in here what you find where you want to put it and what we'll do in this case is we'll go to where it was supposed to be at I believe it's over here yeah right here it's supposed to be over here right there so what I'm gonna do is put it over here just to show you that you can you can just you don't have to put it there just because in the game it's there because this could be a different map so pretend this is a different map and we're just gonna pick this spot right here we're gonna put it right here pointing this away it's pointing this away over here so then you'll know that we did it alright so in this case you're gonna come up to file you're gonna come to import you're gonna find the um, debris crusher but you gotta go through your main game files so it depending on where yours is mine's in D drive but yours could be in C drive or wherever I don't know so go to Steam library Steam apps if you have Steam if you don't you gotta find where your farming simulator stuff is then you go to common double click on all these farming simulator 22 data placeables I believe then lizard then go down selling points and then here's the debris crusher Cl double click it click on that click open All right now you're gonna put that right where you want it I'm gonna hit control B it's highlighted already left click and we got it down there so we're gonna spin it around we want it on this side we're gonna bring it back a little bit something like that alright so we're gonna roll in what we're going to do to to show where this is, you can put markers, but in this case I'm just going to paint some mud here. That's what what it's on. It's on the uh, animal mud. See, put it on that. Put it on add on, on this one. And then click this up here, drain detail texture paint mode. And we're just going to make it right here just to show that's where the spot is, okay? Now you can make it all fancy. This is just a tutorial. So make it all the way you would want it put it exactly where you want it and then we got a couple of steps we got to do but before we grab anything we're going to go ahead and export it so we got it where we want it okay we're, we're not going to move it anymore so these are the numbers we're going to be using in a moment but we're going to export it export selection with files and we're going to don't put it here because this is in your main game you need to go where you're going to put it and in this case well we're going to put it I'm going to have to cut this I should have okay we'll put it in here because that's where the map came to uh, let me find the map now rich map here we go then put it in maps you maps us we're going to put it in here now you could make a folder okay and it's best to make a folder so you probably should make a folder click new folder and title it debris crusher or what have you um, in this case I'm not going to because I'm just going to keep the path shorter 
because you typically don't want the path to be that long and if I had it to do and it was me making my map I would probably do away with this folder and just have it straight maps and then it open up to this stuff but and then have the folder uh, have an extra folder for debris crusher and then have it in there but in this case I'm just gonna stick it here but you're gonna fill this all up and it's gonna be all junky like so I would suggest you make a folder uh, but typically you would want to get rid of that in, in in that case but the only reason I'm not getting rid of it is one it's a tutorial and two there's other stuff that's passed to this and you would have to change everything so if you're not changing the whole map just stick it here and don't and maybe it, you can still make a new folder you just usually don't want too many um, extra little paths to have to go through but anyway I'm gonna stick it here you can make a folder and name it debris crusher if you want and then open that folder and then write it right in this box what I'm fixing to write it's up to you it doesn't matter it'll still work okay so we're gonna capitalize the C and we're gonna make it just like that debris crusher all right so ID uh, I3D file and hit save yes for the parent directory and yes for the relative patch all right so now that we have that we can go to that file real quick let's go there and see it okay so here it is right here there's the debris crusher and now we have our shapes file that's what we ended up with because we exported it but we need another file and we're going to go ahead and get it before we go moving on to the next step so let's go back to where we were in the D drive steam library steam apps common I'm double clicking on all these farming simulator 22 data or data however you prefer placeables lizard and we're selling selling points and debris crusher and in this case this is what I'm gonna show you um, I'm gonna take all this okay now depending on the scenario you may or may not have to take all this but in my case I'm gonna take it so we're gonna take we're gonna left click on this one debris crusher we don't need these we already have them I'm gonna hold down control left control I'm gonna click each one of these and then I'm gonna let go of that left control button and then I'm gonna right click and hit copy do not hit cut you need this for your other main game stuff and then click off of it and get out alright so now we're gonna go back to documents back to wherever your map is mine's in this folder farm and sim uh, my FS22 mods go to rich map go to open it up uh, or whatever you're calling your map and in this case come down here in the white area right click click paste that's gonna put all that in there now if you had done what I said about going on put a make a folder that said debris crusher then you open that folder then you would have only this in there then all this would be in one folder all together with this and all these okay so that would be better and that's why I said that's what I would do but this is a tutorial so I'm trying to just keep it shorter paths so that's one good reason why you would do that it would organize it much better okay so making that folder is is a good idea okay and if you can uh, if you're gonna do the, all the other stuff you could get rid of that but you know that's up to you um, so now we're gonna go ahead we already have all this we're gonna jump into the placeables and right here we can right click now you don't have to do this in any perfect order we already have everything we could jump into this or the other area but we're gonna go ahead to placeables for now click on edit with notepad plus plus or edit with notepad if you don't have notepad plus plus if you don't have notepad plus plus you can look at my video and see how to get it and it's free and yes there's a way that it costs money but you need to do follow the path right and you can get it free so just keep trying to get it free if you want it so there's a video on that alright so now what you do is you look at in here and you're gonna find the debris crusher now this is the main game one for Elm Creek we're just gonna change what we need we don't have to change all of it and we're just gonna change and put our path here and, and add our numbers here so first we're gonna add our numbers we'll go back to the giants editor click here at the end of the translate X 
we're going to hit Control, Shift, and C at the same time after we put our cursor right there. It's going to take this number, this number, and this set of numbers. And we're going to come back down to the um, Notepad++ and we're going to click on it right there, down there in the taskbar. And come back in here. We're going to highlight behind the position and behind these two quotation marks. And we're going to come all the way in front of these quotation marks. We'll right click and then paste. So now we have that. Now we've got to get the other number. Come back to the editor. Roll to the rotate X. Click right behind it. Hit Shift Control C. Let go. Come back to the Notepad Plus Plus. Click here. While you're holding down the left mouse button, drag it over. Let go. Right click in the middle and click Paste. Now you have them numbers. Good to go on those. Now we're going to change this information here. So what you need to do is open back up to where your information is. That XML right there. Where is it? So it's in here. So here's that XML. So now we got to find the path to it. Well the path to it is maps, maps US, and then that. Debris Crusher XML. So we don't got to put the map one right here uh, in this case. There is a way you could put it if you just chose to, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go back to here. We're going to click here. We already know that's what this says, the XML part, so we'll leave that. We're going to backspace. We'll get rid of that. And we don't have nothing called sell point, selling point, so we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of lizard and placeables and data. Now, we stop there. going to type in maps, forward slash... And then we're going to type MAP, capital U.S. And then that's it. We have MAP, and, oh actually it's not it. We need to type right in front of MAPS. Um, we're going to type dollar sign MAP D-I-R dollar sign, which is uh, shift and number four makes that dollar sign. And then a forward slash. And now we're done. We have that. It's all set. All we got to do is hit save. That's what you need to do. Whatever your path is, if you had named, if you had made a folder and named it Debris Crusher, you would need that in there. You would have to have, it would say maps, map US, Debris Crusher, then Debris Crusher.xml. So you would need that. If you named it anything else, any other thing that you're trying to do, take and put all the sing, every single thing you open in there and the last one with the dot XML so we're good there so since we're done with that we could copy this little bit of information we, we might not use it all go up to maps don't cut it just copy it alright so when you're done with this you need to save it save it done deal right alright so now we're gonna go back to over here I'll explore back to where we were now there's a couple more things we got to open uh, one be in the mod desk and we need to go back to maps well to the rich map go to the mod desk right click or wherever your mod desk is it may not be in that area click edit with notepad plus plus and as you can see in this case this one doesn't have any um, so I'm gonna click right at the end of maps space down and uh, we're gonna I'm gonna grab one from another another map um, so I already have some open here but what you're gonna do if it's you you would go find a map say one of these maps that ha actually have it now these mod maps aren't gonna have it you're gonna have to have some some map you downloaded somewhere and I have that so open that there uh, mod desk so pretend this is a different map you would somebody else's map that you know has store items and things you would open it open the mod desk and then go you you'd get the store item so I'm gonna just show you somebody else's where it's already there see there uh, there's some in here but there's another one that I was wanting to take from let's see make it a little quicker Let's uh, see. 
maybe this one yeah let's see if this is it yeah this will work so in this case this was another one I was working on but it pretended it was somebody else's um, this is the information you're gonna want you don't have to have the cell points the green part all you'd really need is store items with the exact um, information they have there and these this closing store items and then this one here so I'm just gonna take it all but in that case you don't have to have the cell point thing added you can you can organize it in a certain way uh, but in that case you know you don't have to but we'll, we'll take it and we'll delete it so we just highlight copy leave that there come back over here just scroll down to wherever your other one is or go back and open it again back on the mod desk and we're going to paste it here and we're going to change it we can take this uh, out okay and this can go up there we go that's good enough alright and we're going to change this it's obviously not what we needed but we already copied and pasted uh, well we got to do it again because we let's go back to the placeables that we were just in okay click back on it and we're gonna copy this again and just to maps right there and click copy do don't get that alright and then we'll go back to the mod desk again we're gonna come here get rid of this all the way I think to here I think we left we need to leave that we didn't get it in the other one and we're gonna right click and we're gonna click paste so now we don't even have to type it out we've got it in there maps map us debris crusher dot xml all the information should be fine don't see anything else we need this is where you would change the name of your map but I have a video on that if you want to see it it was a 19 one I believe but it still counts for this so I think I might have did a 22 one too so check it out on my channel and play in the playlist uh, hit save now we need one more thing uh, we gotta go well a couple more things so go back to here open up maps maps us all right we're gonna look at this real quick the debris crusher xml open it and let me look all right so in this case we moved our image to that folder um, so I'm gonna change this whether you actually have to change it or not that's another story but I'm gonna change it um, put it uh, for the same as the other one just un undo all that up to there maps forward slash map us forward slash and then that and if you're not sure just click back on it look at it it says maps maps us and store debris crusher so you know that's the path maps maps us store debris crusher so you know you got the right path because that's where it falls to okay go back to the editor of the notepad editor and we're going to change this as well we're gonna click right there we're gonna get rid of all this except the last part because that that part's correct I'm gonna type in maps forward slash uh, map us make sure you don't make any spelling errors and that's it so if you're not sure you go back where's your i3d right there right there and maps maps us I, i3d so if you go back and look maps maps us debris crusher i3d good all set you could change the name i'm not going to change it shouldn't be a problem it'll still work um and you don't necessarily have to change certain things right now this one it should be fine uh, go ahead and hit save and we got one more thing to do two more really two more we're going to open this back up we never did save we're going to click save says it's saving leave it alone don't touch it let it do its thing happy happy good all right go click on here again on the file explorer come up here double click on debris crusher the i3d file open it 
in the editor click this X click on the debris crusher come over here click right there get rid of that make it a zero get rid of that zero just zero all of it out bring it back to where it should be and this one and we're done go ahead and hit save wait for it make sure it saves alrighty we can I'm just gonna minimize that one and we're done we should have everything we need I can't think of anything I missed um, this right here is just the picture of the of the actual image of the uh, debris crusher so we're all good so we're gonna open it in game and I may have to uh, pause the video a moment to to get a stone collector and everything ready so I can cut out all that extra time because I want to be able to post the video but normally I would let this play all through so you can see it all but I'm gonna cut out some of it's of uh, the me gathering the stones and getting it ready to go show you that it works so we're gonna come in here I'm gonna load the game oops nope I can't do that I should have stopped I have to X out because I got to put it in the mods folder that's that's the step I should have told you uh, I usually put it in there and work from there but this time I didn't so we need to close that we're gonna come back to this we're going to cut this out of here put it in my games FS22 and I made this little backup thing mod A uh, over, basically it was say it did say mods so I put an A instead of the S so this was the mods folder but I, this is the mods folder now. It's empty. So I could put this in there without all that extra junk in my way. What? Because it's open. Fine. I'll close it. <laughs> They're always telling you what to do. Alright. Yes. Go ahead and save it again, I guess. Make yourself happy. Oh, uh, now it's not there. Okay. Let's go get it. Let's try this again. Cut it. Bring it in here. I usually bring it bring it in here at the very beginning of the video when you make your map. Bring it on in here and then you don't have to worry about that. You'll you'll have it in here and work from there. Okay, I usually do that, but this time I didn't. Okay. So now it's in there, it should work in game. Alright, let's get in game and we should be able to just go right to it, hopefully. We'll see. I did and I didn't name the map, so it's gonna be called mod map. So hopefully this works out and no kind of craziness. Yeah, that's all that way because I took that file out of there. <laughs> but I'll put it back. Don't worry. Alright. So there we are. This is it. Continue. Deselect. Uh, and start. And I'm going to try to hurry so I can keep this video short. I'm going to pause the video when I gather up all the... Uh, stones to show you that it works and then I'll show you when I'm actually dumping it in there oh there was one thing I left out it's a good it's good though so I can show you uh, so when you see it you know what to do to get rid of it it's good I'm glad I forgot that so that you can see it because because it could be a potential question that somebody's gonna have and I, I'm glad I left it out okay Alright, so now I'll catch you in a minute when I'm at the place and I have the stones ready to go to show you, okay? Alrighty, we're back and I've gotten some stones, not very many, and we're going to go ahead and dump them in and show you, but see the thing on top of that? That's what I didn't do in the editor I was going to show you and I forgot, but it's good I did so you can see what it will do and when I show you real quick what to do to get rid of it then I'll show you back in the game but I want to hurry up and do this real quickly so I don't make the video too long we're gonna come right on here on this icon see it shows the stones thing I'm gonna hit I we're dumping it out and look up at the right and there it goes gave us money so that wasn't much money because I didn't get many but you get the point and there's the other icon but we can get rid of that uh, thing on the top in just a minute so I'll catch you in a minute back when I'm back in the editor all right we're back to the map we're gonna open it and we're gonna load it in the editor so we can fix it and I hope everybody's enjoying this and I hope it helps somebody and hopefully I haven't missed anything else I don't think so everything should be good as soon as we get this done 
click on there. All I did was gra grab that other stuff uh, in the game when I was the debris, uh, the stone picker and all. And that's pretty simple. Y'all can do that. But basically, you're going to highlight, you're going to open this, and open this, uh, op and then you come to effects right there, and you're going to make it see where the attributes box is and it says visibility click check that uncheck it rather and I I don't think you have to do that one I didn't the last time if you do then just do it but I'm gonna go back in game and show you real quick and I won't show you until I'm in game and right at this spot so go ahead and save it we just did it so we're good there go ahead and save it and now I'm gonna go back in game and I'll catch you in a minute okay we're back in game and now I'm going to go ahead and open this up and hover over where that is there's the debris crusher we're gonna hit visit as you can see it's showing it in this little icon we're gonna hit visit we're gonna go there and as you can see now that's gone now it looks like it's supposed to look you got the thing on the top if I can somehow jump up here sometimes it's hard to get up there there we go and there you go and if and it seemed like when I loaded at the on a previous time the little dust cloud came up so everything should be fine and you saw that it works and that's how you do it that's how you install uh, the debris crusher and any of those other things in that same folder you and most other things the same way in in most cases and then you have to buy the land if it's a sawmill or something to use certain things but anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a video. Goodbye, everybody.